The Franklin Templeton Shootout marked the last PGA Tour event of 2014. It's hard to believe. And it was Jason Day and Cameron Chungale who won the three-day tournament in wire-to-wire -wire fashion. But it should come as no surprise that the most colorful moments, well, that came from the most colorful duo of Billy Horschel and Ian Poulter. Holt chipped in on Saturday and our reigning FedEx Cup champ just could not contain his excitement. And then they continued on and found themselves in a bit of trouble. All they wanted was for the temporary immovable object, which in this case was a camera, moved. Are you able to move the camera in general? Hey dude, with the camera on the tower. <laughs> this is awesome. You disassemble it. No, it's a union violation. Don't do that. Perfect, thank you. Tower. All right, let's move on to the cuter team event from last week, the PNC Father-Son Challenge. Bernhard Longer decided five wins in the season simply wasn't enough, winning by two with his son Jason, who made some bombs of his own and is only a freshman in high school. How about this? What a way to finish. And there it is. True championship style there. Roll one more in. So in 2014, Longer won with his daughter on the bag and his son by his side. I think it's safe to say the game is simply in the genes. All right, now last week we showed you Luke Donald jumping out of the way of a baboon on the course. And this week, a crow is caught red-handed. Sam Eves had to have been happy with his tee shot that found the fairway during the Australian PGA Championship. But this bird threw some serious shade his way, taking his ball that wasn't even his and going home. Now, if you've ever found yourself thinking, wow, Ricky Fowler's life is just way better than mine, this may be the confirmation you needed. Fowler took off with his girlfriend and friends to celebrate his 26th birthday in the Bahamas this past week. And if you're in cold weather right now, these photos probably sting just a little bit more. And another thing to take from this show, if you happen to be watching in cold weather, we have finally found the one thing you should not try to emulate from world number one. That would be Rory McIlroy's fashion sense, or lack thereof. McIlroy attended an Eagles game last week. Rory will talk about your choice in Pennsylvania teams later, but maybe he was attempting to go the Joe Namath route in a more subtle manner with this coat. And lastly, a huge congratulations to Adam Scott and his wife Marie, who announced last week that they're expecting their first child due in February. And from all of us who love the golf gossip, thank you for not keeping this life moment a secret from everyone this time. All right, now it's hard to believe I'm saying this, but this was the last trending on tour of 2014. It has been such a fun year. Thank you to everyone who tweeted at me about this show, who commented on our Facebook page, and of course tuned in every single Monday afternoon. Because of all of your support, we get to do it all over again starting in 2015. So have a happy and safe holiday season, and I'll see you next year.